Good evening. Good evening, beautiful people. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right. Y'all feeling good? You know, special deep shit for you. Really good to see you, brother. All right, y'all. So we got some deep shit to say, all right? So we only ask one rule, man. Please respect the mic while we speaking, all right? Chief? Chief? <laughs> Give it up for the DJ, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who know about this? Who know about this? Way too young, he don't know about this. <laughs> strength to be immortal. And some angels have to live earth a little harder. This right here is for the woman. Matt, you ever seen the damaged woman before? So damaged. I mean the type that keeps trying to fly side by side with her love. But she's suffering from that broken wing. I mean, women are so amazing we even refer to like queens when they match our definition of being a classic lady. But Matt, if I'm being honest, once Rage reaches Independence Day, Seth GM signs off sirens, a violent masculine tongue perking through her feelings, her compassion stripped naked. He threw stones at her worst, forced her to walk for miles on top of blisters, holding on to prayer hands, praying one day to be able to fly again. Matt Woods, bro. He even introduced her skin to bruises. And her weakness for him signed the adoption papers. She didn't realize that bruises grow up to become scars. And see, believe we, as society, we sleep on the fact that the rationale behind why why women become promiscuous. So hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. Where's that sweet little girl that I used to know? She, she smokes a butt, pops a pill and opens her legs. Much time, too much time spent on her back that she couldn't afford. Long before she, long before she knew her body, her mama called her a whore. One Mississippi, counting slow out past the street like two Mississippi. She never wanted to go home. She loved playing hide and go seek. Three Mississippi for safety and security. She's still trying to seek it. Fort Mississippi, she didn't grow up now, she adult now, but she's still playing childhood games in search of fairy tale happy endings. Hey ho! Where's that sweet little girl that I used to know? She pops a pill and smokes a blunt, opens her legs. Way too much time spent on her back that she couldn't afford. Long before, bleak long before she even knew her body, her mama called her a whore. I mean, bruh, this lady. She, she even felt the way to love him past this abuse. No matter how it made her look. I guess, Max, she was wrapped in the thought that they sat in the cinema of dreams. Promised each other legacies, sculpted in love and success. But his envy, his envy to lead and control revealed his true identity. Leaking onto her ambition, trained the blood flow from her growth, her strength to plead. He begins to act recklessly, treating everything she worked for as if it was all just for the moment. And after the breakup, this lady is left alone in a house full of children. Mac, the children continue to cry because they hunger. Now she's painted the image of this mother shedding tears because she knows paying rent means her kids don't eat. So Candace. This girl I grew up with, her name was Candace. And about age seven, she started writing me letters, and that's when I tried to protect her. That's when I kept her closer than ever. And the letter went something like, Hey, see, me and mama went to therapy today. I got a drawing book and a dog to, to, to play with, and, and it was in a, a old, stinky room with ugly mustard wallpaper. And, and mama sat across the table from this from this white lady using words like 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 medicated and neglect. And she asked me to, to, to color mama a pretty picture. She said, something for your mother, something to depict her. Depict her, I don't know what that means, but I think she wanna find out how much mama loves me. 
and she asked about 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 Papa and if, and if Mama still has those bad dreams, bad dreams where Papa used to huff and puff on top of her and play in her panties. And, and and she she asked Mama to, to help me finish the picture, but Mama just just holding herself and rocking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and then she screams, "Bitch, I don't need this shit!" Well. And well, well, my picture. I never got to finish it. Mm -hmm. Hey, ho. It's that sweet little girl that, that I used to know. She even realized that diapers and formula equals no lights for weeks. And that gets real fucked up because it seems like child support never has the right words to comfort her. What breaking point call her early in the morning, she just getting delivered, she getting delivered the news that her and Chlamydia now shares the same neighborhood. Her heart hardens. Men that gave her wings fatal swords. Men gave her wings fatal swords. And that this woman refuses to ever try to fly again. She suffered from a broken wing. She suffered from this broken wing. Hey ho. And Candace. Candace grew. Candace grew. And she grew up too fast, Blake. And you can blame it up on all of her mama because her mama would say, Girl, what's wrong with you? Be nice and sit on that man's lap. And that man was mama's boyfriend. And, and this nigga started making subtle, creepy ass compliments that had her skin crawl like, Girl, you're only 10, but you look as good as your mom. And because mama stays so high in her high, he becomes her babysitter, and her day curves end up being nightmares, and he's chasing her around the house tag. She's it. And he wrestles her down to the floor, forces her in, 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 in between her legs and rips her Mickey Mouse panties, and forces her in, forces himself inside of her, and it's like God pulled herself outside of her so she can watch. She watches herself as he pounces and breathes and sweats on top of her. And she tries to scream for help, but nobody hears. So her fight shrinks into fear. Her fight shrinks into fear. And he finishes, and she rolls over and holds herself, gives herself the tightest hug that she never had. Long ago, a daughter lost her mother. I tried to ease her hurt. But see, this pain is like a, it's like Michael Kors knockoffs, you know. Everybody got a purse. Now she turns 15. Now Candy, now Candace is now Candy. Candace is now Candy. A tooth aching oxymoron, contrary to never knowing her father, but she loves her daddies. Hey ho. Who's that sweet little girl that I used to know? She smokes the blood, pops a pill, and opens her legs. Way too much time spent on her back that she couldn't afford long before she knew her body bleak. Her mama called her a whore. Man. It's crazy, man. For women to be the most vital part of life, as men continue to damage these women. Then we got a bunch of broken women trying to raise the next generation. Right. Then we got a bunch of broken women trying to teach a boy how to become a man. Right. Then we got a bunch of broken women trying to teach a little girl how to love a man. Now we got a bunch of broken women trying to teach to hate men. When I see all the men in this room, when I see all the women, Hey Amen. How many wings have you broken? And we all don't have the strength to be martyrs. Some angels have to live earth a little harder. This is dedicated to the woman. To the woman. Snap the pole.